Hey guys, here's a tutorial for your uh, first little assignment, which is just going to assess your knowledge of Photoshop for me. I kind of want to see what you guys can do without using any images from the web. So create a new document. Uh, it can be either an 11 by 17 or 17 by 11. It's up to you, landscape or portrait. I know you guys are very used to us saying 300 DPI for everything. Well, it really increases the size. So I want you guys still to design at 300. But when you go to save it, save a copy of it just for uh, Blackboard and make it a 72. So that's just file size. So feel free to design it at 300. I actually really would like you guys for portfolio reasons to design it at 300. But when you go to save it, you know, reduce the image size to 72 and save me a copy to upload. You do something at 300, 11 by 17 with like five, you know, 10 layers, images, all these special effects. It's gonna be like 500 megabytes and that'll take forever and crash your computer. So don't do that. Okay, what I'm kind of looking for in this assignment, guys, is just you guys to have some fun, uh, play around with some of the different uh, tools, you paintbrush, shapes, uh, pen tool, make your own uh, shapes if you want to. You can marquee and fill things. So, you know, just mess around, but all you can use is the Photoshop tools. You can use different styles, just kind of go easy on it. You can use gradients, don't get too tacky on me. So, I'm just going to move the layers over here. Create a new layer. I love the brushes in Photoshop. You can have some uh, fun with the brushes. Uh, to get some different style brushes here, you can click here, select some different ones load some brushes here uh, you can once you select a brush you can bring up your brushes palette and you know maybe try some different things if you want to do a texture on it uh, there's that's a dual brush there so it combines a few brushes together uh, add some noise shape dynamics make it bigger jitter a little bit scatter it if you want to Okay, just play around with the different stuff here. So under my layers, I make sure I have that new layer. Call that like brush. And I'm just going to drag across. Fun stuff. Woo. Okay. So I've made this image here. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, good thing is it's on its own little layer. So I can move it down if I want to. I can free transform it. Make it skinnier. I just want to make like a pattern. Move that down here. Make a copy of it. I'm holding down the Alt key, by the way, to make a copy. So I make that one below here. Move it over a little bit. Select both of them. Hold down the Shift key. I'll select both of them. Make a copy. Transform it. Play around with like perspective. See, you know, I can do some different stuff here. I'll have it coming out towards you. I just kind of want to see what you guys can come up with. Do some different things. Rotate it around. I like frame it here. I'm interested in seeing if you guys can, um, you know, sort things into group. Okay. New group from layers. Hit OK. Organization very essential in this business guys uh, let's make like a copy of the background D we'll switch your colors you can see over here to like black and I just hit alt backspace to fill it so you have a background maybe make a new layer uh, make some circles you know maybe fill that with a color or a pattern Let's fill that with a tacky style, shall we? Okay. Ooh, button, fun stuff. That's okay. You guys can get a little tacky on this one. I'm okay with that. So we can move that around over here. Deselect it. Uh, try to, you know, maybe lower the opacity on it if you think it's too tacky. Drop it below, maybe group one. 
so it's kind of faded. Yeah, we'll just make it. Sometimes it's kind of cool just to have like this faded object behind here. Maybe make another copy of it. Transform it. Have that down over here. Okay. And you can call this one globe thing. I'm not worried about it as long as you name your layers. I'm happy. Uh, maybe grab your text tool. Dave. Okay, let's change that color to maybe a light green. Find something that complements it a little bit. And yes, if you want to do a bevel on it, feel free. I just kind of want to know where you guys are at. You know, I want you to design a lot more than I'm doing here. Uh, I don't want to do too much because I still have a bad habit of saying, oh, I'm going to do what Dave did. No, I want you to come up with something completely from scratch. Okay? Something that um, is your original design. One above that. There we go. Uh, just have some fun. Use some different tools. Uh, maybe find a nice little... custom thing there. Oh, that's tacky. That's okay. We'll reduce it so you can barely even see it. So it's just like this tiny little thing here. And we'll move that below maybe these guys here. So you can't really see it. See, it's hidden. So it almost looks like a little starburst coming out from that. And click on that. See? Ah, move that below there. Okay. Or, you know, have some fun. Do some different things. Play around. It's kind of what I want to see. It's just, you know, if you can do stuff without, like, taking images from Google Images. Use some different stuff. Create some depth to it. Uh, use a gradient if necessary. But have some fun with it. Uh, remember, it's due this Sunday. Go ahead and turn it in. 72 DPI. That kind of stuff. If you want to play around with the new 3D tool, uh, feel free. I will tell you that um, it does take a lot of memory on the computer, okay? And for this first assignment, you should be able to do everything in CS4 or CS5, depending on what you got. If you got any questions, uh, send me an email. Okay.